Hey, Wilson, guess what, man? Hey, what's up? I got a new speaker. Oh, yeah. Well, I know I got a bunch of speakers in my hand, but I got a new one. Ooh, before you see what it is, I want you to take a guess. What speaker brand have I not really checked out on this channel before? Uh, Trivet. Dude, you got to stop. You're killing me with the Trivet stuff. Again. How about like Marshall? I should. I should. Seems like a good brand. What's next? Harman? No. I haven't done that one. Come on, one more. What happened to JLab too? Dude. I don't freaking know, but no. <laughs> this one is a Bose speaker, all right? I got the new joint right here. This is the Bose SoundLink Flex 2. Raylan, I thought I put all your squeaky toys away. You're killing me, dude. What, is, what does he have, Wilson? Did you hide that for him? Uh, no. Did you? I thought I took all these away. Is this, this is Ralph the Raccoon, and, oh, damn, he's got a squeaky tail. I thought he ripped that out. Dude, you gotta stop. I'm really trying to work here. As he gets his squeak on, let me introduce myself to you guys. Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. I got a squeaky dog with a squeaky Tory Richardson. And today we're gonna to be checking out the brand new Bose SoundLink Flex 2 with a squeak. <laughs> Either way, man, did I ever tell you that I have never really liked Bose? Never? No. Nope. Not even a little bit? No. Nope. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not because their sound is trash, because it's actually really good sound. It's just that years ago, I tried some Bose headphones and a Bose speaker, and I felt like it lacked bass uh, because I was a bass head. All I cared about was bass. And uh, Bose has always traditionally had a well-balanced, really good sound, right? But from a bass head's perspective, it's like, where is, I need more, you know what I'm saying? And as my ears have matured and my taste and sound has matured, or let's say evolved into something else, I can appreciate a nice, balanced, even sound with an extra sprinkle of bass on the end. And I'm pretty sure, I think this is what happened, Wilson. You see these little speakers right here? I got a JBL Charge 5, I got a, a JBL Flip 6, and I got a Soundcore Motion 300 here in this bunch. I'm pretty sure that once these speakers became, once these personal Bluetooth speakers became more popular, I think the company started to realize that these speakers or people in general, well, maybe not people in general, but people who buy these things like a little extra thump in their sound. And I think Bose has really caught on to that. And that's why I feel like their sound signature may have changed just a little bit. You agree with that? Maybe, I don't know. I don't even care. It's my show. I say what I want to, whether it's true or not. You can fact check me in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out the star of the show. I brought these other ones here, the, the Charge 5 and Flip 6 and the Motion 300 because these are what I would call competitors because if you look at the shape of the Bose uh, uh, SoundLink Flex 2, it is the same shape as the Soundcore Motion 300. Got that same rectangular shape. They are very similar in weight, although I feel like the Motion 300 weighs a few ounces more. It's a direct competitor to the Flip 6, even though it's looked significantly bigger. And it could be, could be a competitor to the JBL Charge 5, depending on how you want to look at things. So in this video, we're not going to actually compare them sonically. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the competition is. You know what? There's no, where's the Sony speaker? Did you, have you seen my Sony speaker? No. My, um, my Sony uh, Oldfield field One? No, I didn't know where it went. Dude, it's a bright ass orange speaker. You ain't seen that thing around here? No. That thing is like neon orange. Oh my God, he keeps finding balls. Give me this. <laughs> where did you keep finding this stuff? Okay, dude, hold on, Wills. I'll be right back. I gotta get rid of this. All right, man, got Raylan on the control, I think, maybe, hopefully. And I managed to take some time to go get this bad boy, the Sony Oldfield One, because this is another competitor. But back to the Bose SoundLink Flex 2. All right, I got the mint one in my hands, and then we got this hospital beige gray. It kind of looks gray sometimes, sometimes it looks beige. Uh, yeah, it, it looks, looks like more gray to me. 80s hospital equipment to me. <laughs> um, and then we have this blue, okay? So the reason I have all three of these is because I went to the website. I got it upside down. I went to the website and I saw the blue. I typically order a blue, bluish speaker because I kind of like this teal. And online, it looked a certain way and I get it. And it's like, huh, this is good, but it's kind of not what I thought it was going to be. So I decided to order <clears throat> this one right here, Hospital Beige. The reason I, I 
thought this one would look really fly was because the Beats pill came in like this gold color. And I was like, man, I really like that color. And it, in real life, it looks fantastic. I was thinking that was gonna be this because online, it actually looks like it. And I was like, well, this is flat. It doesn't have that shimmer like online and yeah. it's not as rich, you know what I mean? The, the pill was like a champagne color. Yeah, that's what I thought this was gonna be. This yeah. is flat hospital. Think about it, man. <laughs> it does. It looks, it looks it like looks hospital like, equipment from the 80s. If that was sitting in a doctor's office, I would think it's like a medical equipment. See? Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the mint. I decided to try out the mint because, hell, why not? But then I got it in my hand and it's not ugly. It's just, it ain't me. Which, it's not that bad, man. It's, it's, no, it's not bad at all. It's a great looking speaker. It's just not me. It's not. The, the mint is cool. Yeah, it just depends on your 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 preference. I'm just not feeling. I'm, you. I'm not. I'm not minty. <laughs> I'm not feeling very minty. Okay. This looks like Easter candy. That's what this looks like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. Sure. This looks like. This looks like Jordan almonds. You know what I'm talking about? The crunchy hard <laughs> almonds. Oh, those things are good, but they will jack your jaw up, man. My, I'd be getting tired of eating them things, but they are delicious. Anybody who loves me, if you want to send me some Jordan almonds, I will love you for life. Anyways, but that's why I have three of them is because the colors on the on the website, ooh, you got to see it firsthand to understand. Hopefully this video is doing it some justice, but the colors are not very well represented on the website. That's all I have to say about that. Raylan, you are getting on my nerves, son. What do you need now? You want to go outside? If you go out there, you ain't coming back in. Uh, you, you will be out. Matter of fact, Ooh, boy, boy, neither, <laughs> neither. I think he is upset with me today. I think he is. I think he's just pissed. <laughs> just has a little attitude today. He's got an attitude today, man. Anyways, let's get to it. So this is a front firing speaker. It has like two little leg or feet right there, but it is also a lazy speaker and it wants to fire up whenever you're ready for it to, which I like. I like the versatility because sometimes you're kind of sitting directly in front of it. Maybe it's on a desk or something, but if I put it on this table and I want to share some music with you, Wilson, we'll just up fire that bad boy and let it go into the ambiance. And what goes into the ambiance is really great sound. I am thoroughly impressed with this speaker. Are you ready to hear it, man? Yeah, let's do it. You want to learn more about it or you want to hear it? Uh, how much it cost? All right. Uh, oh, I almost let it out. How much you think it costs? Uh, I want to say it's in the 200s. 200s? Why? Because it's Bose? It's Bose, yeah. I always think expensive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That's, what, that's another reason I ain't really messed with Bose. I thought they were unrealistic in their prices back in the day. And some of the stuff gets a little pricey, man, kind of like with JBL. But this speaker is only $150. <laughs> yeah, man. So you know where that puts it? Soundcore, you can't really count a Soundcore speaker, like as far as price. Soundcore is always disruptive with their pricing. But the Sony Oldfield One is, I think, $130 uh, uh, MSRP. And, but you can get it for like $99 on sale. It's prom day as the shooting of this video, so you probably get it for that much. Uh, the JBL Flip 6, this is $130 retail, but you could probably get this one cheaper right about now, maybe $99, $89 or something like that. And then the JBL uh, Charge 5 is $189. So it kind of puts it in between the pricing of a JBL Charge 5 and between the, the Flip 6 and the Alt Field 1. So the pricing, what do you think about the pricing now that you, do you like the speaker more? Is this green better? <laughs> since it costs only 150 bucks it's pretty fair fair I'll i think it's fair, fair. I, I really do especially because of the sound so are you ready to get into that or you want to know more about it no let's get into it let's get into it baby It actually fills, it, it, it makes the mids feel full and rich. And the bass comes in right on top of that and just, it's just a smooth track every time you listen to it, except that one, that one was kind of nasty. But it's just got a, a very well balanced sound with the extra layer of bass on, on just the bass. So it's just got that extra thick bass, but it's a nice, 
Oh, man, I don't, did I describe it well? I don't know. I think so, yeah. It feels like the bass is on its own layer and like the, the mids are like, kind of like layered on top. It's almost like a cake. They're just like layered on top of each other perfectly. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that's good. You know how you gotta get that perfect piece of cake? You get some icing on there, like a two layer cake, right? You get the first layer with the, the cake, right? Yeah. You got that first layer of icing. And then, ooh, if it's a corner piece though, you got the, oh, yeah, you got the, the, side. the edge, yeah. Yeah, then you <laughs> got the top, maybe a little flower or something. Yeah, right. You get that fork right in there and you get every piece of the cake. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> For all my cake eaters out there, you know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But Wilson, did you know that there's an app for this thing? Oh, really? Yep. There's a Bose app. It ain't nothing fancy. It's just, um, you know, just a little app so you can adjust the EQ. Let me share my screen with you, man, real quick. I'll show you what's up. So once you get it connected, you see I got that, that base beigey or baggy hooked up. Let's put it at 50%. Uh, you got your source, which is basically Bluetooth, or you can do multi-point and have it connected to two uh, different devices. But let's go into the EQ, because that's really what I want to talk about. It's only three bands. You got your bass, your mids, and highs, or treble. Don't be worried about messing with that thing. You might kick the bass up a little bit, maybe, I have before, but 99.999% of the time, I keep it nice and flat because the sound signature is excellent coming right out of the box. Bose, you did a freaking fantastic job. I'm impressed. But you got some presets here. You got bass boost, treble boost, bass reducer, which I think is ridiculous, treble reducer, which I also think is ridiculous. And because they're ridiculous, so let's just reset it, then we'll back out. And then we get into the shortcut because that's where I wanna go next. This little button on here, man, that'll allow you three things. You get to either A, use it as a shortcut to link two speakers if you got one. So Wilson, if you spend 300 bucks, you got both of these. Now, I know you're questioning that because you haven't heard them both together yet, but dude, I'm gonna play that next. So you can actually use that as a shortcut button to link two of them together. <clears throat> you can change it to be your voice assistant or you can access Spotify. Look, uh, uh, manufacturers, Spotify ain't the only freaking music service out there. We got, of course, there's Apple Music and there's Alexa Music. Is it? No, uh, Amazon, Amazon Music. Amazon Music. Yeah. YouTube Music. Y'all need to start talking to Google and YouTube about linking up and putting YouTube Music and stuff. I'll never see it nowhere, but I've digressed. Wilson, you ready for this? Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna hit this little button right here. We're gonna play it in stereo. Let's, let's get some tunes playing real quick. All right, so I hit this little button it goes into pair mode. I'll turn this blue one on. Press the shortcut button on the second third squeaky speaker. I did. And then we're gonna, and they're just gonna, they're just gonna look for each other. They're searching. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it's not working. <laughs> Dude, it's like, come on, man. It's still looking. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, they just did it. Yeah, <laughs> gotta make them kiss. There you go. <laughs> All right, Wilson, come on. There you go. What you think, man? This is stereo. Oh, of course, the song goes off. <laughs> of course, right? Let's do this one. Dude, oh, sounds good. This is this fifty percent volume right there. <laughs> that sounds good. Doesn't it sound like a system, like a stereo system? Yeah, it does. It sounds like there's a system playing. Dude, this is nice. I I, I don't want to keep both of them, but dude, I, I might because these joints sound so good. I'm almost. Without testing them against any of the other speakers in the competition, because um, we're not going to do that in this video, we'll do it for the next one. I got to say, these might be the best sounding ones out of the bunch, even my beloved Sony Oldfield One. I know that's shocking and jarring to you, Wilson, but I think this might sound better than the Oldfield One. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, I think I like Bose now. Can I, is there, is this, are there Bose boys out there? You know, you got the JBL fanboys, you got your, your Sony suckers. 
And then, and then you got the Bose boys. Can, I'm going to be a Bose boy now. Right? <laughs> Either way, y'all enjoy these sound samples, and I'll see you when I see you.